In today's video, we're going to discuss the reasons why a Brittany may not be the right breed for you. We're going to look into their exercise needs, any medical issues linked to this breed and plenty of other things that you should seriously consider before potentially adding this breed to your family. Welcome back to the Fenrir Brittany Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you to become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss another upload. Now, let's dive into some of the reasons why you possibly shouldn't get a Brittany. Brittanys were originally bred as gun dogs to hunt. They mainly hunted fowl and needed a high energy level to be able to keep up with the birds when chasing after them. The Brittany needs an active owner to keep up with their exercise and energy needs. They need at least an hour or more of exercise every day and they also need plenty of mental stimulation too. This can be achieved with plenty of toys which can be costly like Kongs, treat dispensing balls, hide and slide puzzles and snuffle mats which need to be switched every few days to stop them from getting bored. Brittanys are the type of dog who need jobs to complete in order to remain happy. They'll soon get bored and develop bad habits if they're just left at home. This can lead to chewing, barking and digging. Brittanys are very sensitive dogs. If they hear you raising your voice or shouting during arguments, they can be known to jump up to try and defuse the situation. They also don't respond well to negative reinforcement. So they may not be the right breed for you if you can sometimes get upset or annoyed if your puppy doesn't listen to you straight away. Due to the Brittany being a dog bred to hunt, they can have a high prey drive. It's essential that you ensure you have perfect recall every time before even thinking about letting your dog off lead. This will prevent any accidents happening with small dogs, rabbits and cats. Another good thing to work on with your Brittany is separation anxiety. This breed is prone to develop separation anxiety if not taught from a young age that it's okay to be left on their own for a couple of hours. This should be built up from small amounts of time to prevent any stress for your Brittany. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you wanna check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Unfortunately, Brittany's can come with some health issues like cleft palate. This is when bones on the top of the dog's mouth don't fuse together properly. This means that any liquid or food consumes can enter the nose, and this can cause discomfort and will usually be fixed by surgery, which can be costly. Another health issue common to this breed is complement deficiency. This is where a lack of white blood cells can cause infections and can lead to death if not treated quickly. Epilepsy is another health issue. Hip dysplasia, which can cause arthritis and eventual lameness. Lens luxation, which is when the fibres holding the eye become weak. This often leads to sight loss and glaucoma. The last health issue is hypothyroidism. Brittany's under, are prone to underactive thyroids and can lead to significant weight gain, lethargy and loss of fur. The simple way to help hypothyroidism is by using medication, but again this can be costly to maintain. There are plenty of pros and cons to adding a Brittany to your family. So important to make sure that you do your research before purchasing or rehoming any breed. There are so many dogs like the Brittany being purchased without this knowledge. Then owners soon realise that they don't have the time to exercise or train them, or they realise they're a lot of a bigger breed than they first expected and don't have enough room for them. There are too many dogs in shelters, so please only commit to this beautiful breed if you are certain that you have what it takes to look after them for the rest of their life. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. 
And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss a future update. We have regular Brittany videos dropping every week, so I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fenrir Brittany Show.